So it looks like our province is um, intact. Everything is going well. Uh, I've got ten acres of land, like like like, like as expected. So, um, as promised, we will now put this five and five into uh, next so next next ten acres of land. I'm going to put it into five and five into farms and banks. Remember, we're gonna try and keep it under seven hundred uh, acres here. Um, uh, seven hundred acres there. Uh, I definitely would like to put this under uh, maybe towers. Yes, maybe maybe maybe. Uh, stables okay. Universities are okay. Defense are okay. Um, give me five guilds. And five towers, because like I said, we're gonna go uh, rogue. Rogue. Um. Maybe I'll put it under a uh, thief, uh, uh, under uh, my assassins guilds, my assassins uh, training dens here. Um. Okay. Uh. Oh, I don't want to go too much. Else. So let's give us fifteen, fifteen men there. Just like I said, I want, I want to. Create more guilds, but we want to count, we want this. Okay, so uh, our um, defenses are running low. So, but we got we got to start training up up our offenses. So uh, let's begin training our offenses here. And uh, we're gonna go to the sciences as usual. Oh, lots of books there. So six two zero for population. Growth should give us 500 left over. Uh, address street, address costs. Military training time. So let's, uh, we're not, to, we're not gonna be a dragon slayer. That's someone else's job. My job is just, my, 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 my job is to slit people's throats. And rob them, or rob their, rob their, you know, who's, my, my, uh, my job is just to be just basically, uh, um, be a bunch of terrorist fuckers, uh, causing mischief and mayhem. Mischief and mayhem. So, uh, mischief and mayhem. Let's increase this here. Mischief and mayhem. Do, 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 do. Building efficiency, wage reduction, yes, this is just our wage. So, no, let's, get this. let's increase our food production. I want to make sure our province is well stocked for, for rooms and food and war machines. And Someone given us some uh, a ton of uh, ton of runes, so that's good. Now, we've increased our uh, population, but we're still a little bit underneath uh, workers, so that's... Uh, Gain a population gain though, so this is, this is awesome. I have a hundred this space for a hundred more people, so always always um so we're almost at eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred 1800 uh, population, so that's like a small town. And fill jobs, daily income. Uh draft costs see, at least we seven thousand went down a little bit, so Draft cost, military wages went down and down, so we gotta give ourselves a we gotta give ourselves a little boost here and uh a little, little bit. So um good. Good, good, good. We'll continue to we we'll continue to wither away wither wither away at our wage reduction and uh uh, maybe we need, maybe we need to do population increase next time. So we, need, we need a population increase. We need more um, moms. Uh, okay. Let's see if anything anything here. We need we need someone to renew our greater protection. Patriotism. Uh, Patriotism. There we go. Reduce costs of a. Uh, Military training. No, sign up. This is sign up. This is to reduce cost of training our troops. Cloud watch. Build this building. Everything is good. Okay, I need to know what the. Uh, maybe I can go, maybe I'll go to uh, rituals. 
Aha, here we go. Good stuff. Let me get that cast ritual. Ritual. Oh, oh. Ritual. Shit! Rituals did not work. Okay, that's uh, that's a that's a that's a boo right there. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna cast some paradise. Obviously, we need more wizards to make sure our spells go well. Or we can uh, train our assassins. And you no, know I'm gonna get the assassins creep games. I'm gonna, go to, I'm gonna enter with assassins, assassins creep. I I wanna work with the re galactic rebel or uh, planetary rebels to to fight the powers that be. We need a hybrid of both a just society but a prosperous society. We need both factions in reality. You know, we need the big businessmen to make the money and make the wealth and make the arts and all the uh, good taste. Uh, but we also need to elevate humanity to enjoy such a society. And as we keep on educating people in schools, as we keep on uh, supporting homeless shelters, as we keep on supporting young single mothers, uh, keep on supporting um, people who are who who have fallen under hard times and become desperate criminals uh, to to re to, re to, 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 to to guard against their res their recid recidivism. That's a hard as a recidivism. Uh, through donation to, for example, the John Howard Society, or the Elizabeth Fry Society, or the myriad of societies in America that, that, that cater to the needs of uh, the vulnerable. This prevents them from being re-recruited to a gang. Uh, also, helps them out of the life, to, to the civilized life, the, uh, the the barbaric criminal life. They don't they don't live that. Uh, and those who are willfully profiting off of such a lifestyle, you go to hell, man. You know, you're 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 essentially a terrorist in, in the world. Uh, you know, you're recruiting young teenagers to to do your drug gangs and stuff. But perhaps Earth is perhaps the New Ages are right. Earth is supposed to be some kind of a in between world, in between evil and 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 and, and world. Uh, one of the uh, galactic centers of a. Uh, we don't know. Gonna try and keep we're gonna try and keep the universe intact though. We don't want this universe to implode. It would take lots of years to lots of uh, space civilizations, this federation and whatnot to uh to um to create such a such a, such a just society. Um, so someone sent me a message here, we need you Rosie. Uh I have a highly important job for you. I went for it by my I need to be a key ritualist. You, I'll get people to send you ones too. Okay. Okay. Casted. So we're going to continue to. Uh, uh, I've been given orders from uh, Knight Attila of uh, Han, Attila the Hunvers, Hunversity, Hunversity. It's supposed to be University, Hunversity, University, Hunversity. Knight Attila. So apparently, during the during the migrations of the Bronze Age slash the uh, of Ice Age age. Um, the Balkans and the Balkans still are a very beautiful land of lakes, rivers, and just basic fertility, green, green goo here, geo stuff. Um, and that's where the Hungarian civilization was, was founded. The, uh, the, the, they settled, they settled here in Hungary, uh, through migrations, through invasions, uh, and just basically settled in, uh, the Magyarian territory. The Magyars, uh, one of the, one of the many steep tribes, um, and then there was a big, the Khanic, the Khanic Empire, uh, that's not related to the Han, Hans uh, whatsoever, but um, have, have relationships. They move southwards. There's, there's kingdoms like Khazara, uh, Khazaria, uh, kingdoms like Sif, Scythia. <coughs> the rise of the Baltics and, you know, the, mul the multiple, uh, the multiple, the multiple, um, 
the Vikings, uh, the, the Vikings essentially, uh, um, the Bulliacs, the, the Vikings, uh, traveled southwards into, into the, into the Kiev and rest, uh, into, uh, Novogod and, uh, formed their own, uh, formed their own, um, tribal confederacies that, who stood the initial, well, that, 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 that fell to the original Khan in, uh, invasions, but, as the Khan empires, uh, but the, the, some of some of some of some of the core worlds of this uh, the Russian people were able to f- focus around Moscow, uh, around Novgorod, uh, into Kiev and Rus, uh, and start to kind of form this um, new civilization there. Uh, also, when when empires fall, the uh, the empires fall, they leave a huge vacuum. Uh, the Roman Empire fell. Uh, uh, Michael the Brave, some. Um, uh, Georgia world fell, uh, Kurdistan fell, uh, Stalin's empire fell, uh, uh, the Ottoman Empire fell and became, uh, became the Turkic Republic. And even that's, even that's, uh, very sketchy right now. And the Greece, the Greece, the Greece was, was essentially the, 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 the uh, the nerve center, uh, the administrative, um, administrator, yeah, admin, <laughs> admin, yeah. Ops, the uh, admin ops of the of the uh, of the uh, Byzantine Empire and uh, the Vikings, they were able to uh, have their time. You know, uh, uh, you have the Hanseatic uh, Hanseatic uh, League, which is a big trading empire formed from the coastal regions of the Balkans, the coastal regions of the Viking of the Scandinavia, the Viking. Uh, North, you know, this just basically that whole area, the submarine, they picked the submarine tip. Um, Kaliningrad, no, 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 that uh, used to be the Persian home world, uh, and it seems like, uh, seems like, seems like they are trying to form their own country again, uh, so maybe, for, maybe, maybe, maybe a Balkan, maybe a hybrid Balkan people, you know, Balkan needed, uh, um, you got then you got the Khan Empire, the big the go the, the the four the four kingdoms of, of the four kingdoms of uh of of, of King the original empire, which is one was West China, the Yuan Dynasty, which the, the Mongols essentially became Chinese, uh the Yuan Dynasty, and then they were kicked out by the Ming. And then the Ming kicked out by the Jing. And then the Jing was kicked out by the Maoists and currently it's a hundred years of Maoism, uh one one whole century of uh one whole century of uh, the CPP, uh, the Kuomintang rule. Uh, the Kuomintang, the Kuomintang, uh, they're gonna survive. You know, um, as a skeletal form of themselves, they will survive. Uh, China will probably probably rule a confederacy of Taiwan and Hong Kong and Macau and God knows whichever city wants the wants 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 greater autonomy. Uh, North Korea was always North Korea. It's always it was always called a uh, kingdom of crude oil. Uh, greater Seoul or uh, Greater uh, Chosun, uh, uh, Korea was was either it, there was over time it was held by the North, held by the South, held by the South, held by the North. Currently, they're, 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 they are they're two different entities. Vietnam, um, okay, Vietnam was their own world. Uh, Made up of a lot, lots of lots of tribes, lots of uh, prehistoric uh, Bronze Age tribes and Ice Age tribes just settled in that fertile region, formed their own unique worlds, but they didn't really coalesce into a state. Uh, so they have many different tribes. Uh, the Hmong tribe of the north, for example, is some of the Laotians. Uh, they they usually came from the Yunnan province in China. Uh, the Hmong world, uh, the Gongzai people, the Yui. Actually, yeah, actually, those were part of of of, of China, uh, of Vietnam, a uh, greater empire. But then eventually they were amal- amalgamated into a uh, amalgamate. It was called uh, the Kingdom of Nanyue, Nanyue, Nanyue. Um, so I, so so people in Cantonese are are Chinese and Vietnamese, a hybrid race, a hybrid race. And then there's the there's the Okinawans. Um, I'm thinking that I'm personally I'm thinking that the Japanese, the Chinese, the Taiwanese, etc. Chinese and all the other eases of China should just put their money together, form a big giant island, uh, and call it Unification Island. You know, it's this one big giant island where 
many of these nations can 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 coexist as one 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 fresh new people. Uh, but of course, as part of the Okinawan homeworld, that would be really rad. Um, the Philippines were the Philippines were settled by uh, Africans. Africans uh, they settled through Madagascar. Madagascar they, they jumped off into a southern uh, southern Asia. Uh, the migration of Southern Asia, the islands, Indonesia, uh, Philippines, especially, and then down to Australia, I think. I, I, I could be wrong. In the end, we're all Terrans. But Hun, the Huns were a very um, unique uh, unique um, world. The not Germanic, the not, the not the Frankish Empire, uh, Charlemagne's Frankish, Frankish Empire, uh, which was a big super state made of France and Germany, um, which was divided to Four different realms, I guess. Uh, just like, just like, uh, and that's the thing with the Roman Empire collapsing. All these different, uh, na- uh, all these different heroes just arose. Uh, but um, I mean, a post-apocalyptic um world called um. Well, you had the collapse of the Roman Empire, and all the Scots, all the, all the Celtic world, which left the Celtic homeworld, pushed the Romans out, and um, so leftover military equipment was then 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 um, then, then, um, then anglicized, no, then Britishized, and the Viking Germans, Germany, uh, Anglo. Saxons kind of invaded, uh, kind of migrated, well, invaded into England and then formed their own kingdoms. And that's the thing that everyone has invaded everyone. Everyone's moved around the U.S. as, as, as humans go. So we all want to have family of um, well, the Huns. Yeah, the Huns formed their own interesting world. And I believe Czech, Czechoslovakia and um, Slovak. Well, not, I mean Slovak and. Uh, the Czech Republic formed this uh, world called Bohemia, if I'm not mistaken, which was connected to Poland, which was connected to Hungary, and they all had this kind of this world there, Romania. And I'm hoping that uh, hoping that the 21st century will be much more kinder to the Balkans, much more kinder to the Baltics, and uh, be able to have a lot of stuff, uh, lots of sex, lots of technology, lots of education, which is what the young people are working on now, trying to trying to save their world, home world. Uh, for another few generations of growth, and I hope that um, you know, hope that uh, they do grow. So. Uh, in this case, in this case, <coughs> oh, what the hell is that? Oh, it's a unicorn. Kim Jong, yeah, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, North Korea says that they found a uh, fossilized ruin the remains of a, a fossilized mechanics to the, of a unicorn. And why calcium? Why calcium mechanical parts? Why not uh, Why not steel parts? You know, or something more durable. I guess this is more biological. This is more, you know, if you if you want to be a steel block, you come out as one big one one shape, one shape, one shape. This is. Unique because this is a uh, organic and it grows. It grows to give you your facial shape. And ideally, the body's supposed to stay alive and and be built on the tendons we built on this thing. So that's cool. That's cool. that's really neat, eh? Uh, how science works. Okay, so I'm going to stick to 700 uh, land, and I'm going to go um, continue to build my uh, province as a assassin province here. Um, I have a uh, rough near, near, nearing as 7,000, uh, 770 defense points. Please chess.
Okay, I'm going to do my own wound protection facility so people don't have to keep on sending me the like, extra wounds. I hate being a leech. You know, I, I like being productive in, in society and in this game. You know, we're our little digital society here. Uh, I hate being such a, such a leech. I want to be a giver. I love giving. I get addicted to it. But sometimes people do, and people should, uh, accept help, too. You know, we're all in this together, uh, whichever nations we are. Uh, Especially after COVID and, and 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 keeping the planet alive with keeping the planet's very essence, uh, eh, oh, oh, very nature alive. We're working very hard to keep the planet alive, and I can assume that when we do get off into space, um, we're gonna have to learn how to cooperate with each other. Otherwise, otherwise we have like what uh, intergalactic inter inter nation war on the space station, and we're blowing holes in the space station, getting sucked into space, that sort of thing. Or we actually have to work on a uh, so I think our grandkids are watching this. I I won't live to see that, but I'll maybe live to see people get off this planet. Uh, maybe I we probably will be one of the last generations in Calgary before the mass exodus of planet Earth. People leaving for I, I've already signed up for this group called Asgardia, Asgardia, named after the Asgar after after the uh, the uh, the uh, the Astro uh, Astro. Um, I I mispronounce things altogether. I, I I'm not a I'm not a grad student. I don't have that uh, refinedness. So, but the spirit of the, the spirit of the intent of the word of the words of, of, of the meaning behind the words is, is, is there. And yes, yeah, named after the astral uh, 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 heavenly kingdom, so as expressed in the four cartoon comics. And I hope that four does become a woman. I have no problems. I have no problems with that. As long as the story is good. These fat chubby gay, these fat chubby uh, gay, uh, gay, uh, gay, gay person go fuck off with their misogyny. They go fuck off to their, uh, to their bunker convention halls, uh, of, of Mikto. Or Mik, of, uh, Mikto. I'm too busy, uh, trying to help people get back on their feet. And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Uh, but our parents, the boomers, gave us the dream, gave us the gave us the imagination, gave us the, these wonder worlds, and would it be um, would it be uh, magical movies, uh, especially Beatles movies, this weirdo Beatles movies. Uh, I saw some uh, black 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 movies, uh, so black exploitation movies where um, it's one one interesting one where these two these two these two. These two uh, Soul Brothers, um, older Soul Brothers, who played some kind of game or thing chess, and then they are actually they were actually uh, ancient um, Numerian gods or sun god Ra and stuff. And then I don't quite remember because because like I said, it was a seventies movie. It was tripped out, tripped up to the nines. Um, and somehow the the, the uh, somehow um, the uh, the um, the premise of it is, was was the two two uh, two black gods. In the guise of humans, human avatars were uh, um, were having some kind of a bet to see if they can uh, if they can who can move the human. I think I'm assuming this is what the story is like. I have to watch that game. I've tried to find that movie. Uh, the Sun God Riding was called. It's a really great movie. Uh, and uh, yeah, all I can remember was a lot of like I said, a lot of times uh, this. This uh, this transition from organic to mech to mechanical, where we are mostly using high tech, uh, primitive high tech, uh, funk sounds, funk funk graphics, Technicolor movies from the sixties and stuff. Uh, we were just basically learning how to Xerox uh, back in the seventies and eighties. This is Mad Men era. Uh, our, our our parents gave that, you know, our parents uh, our parents gave us the old landlines. It's, it's analog now, but they actually gave us the technology. Uh, the old tele telecommunication technology, the, the the very first internet age um, back in the early nineties. This game was a, this game is actually a product of that. So yeah, um, boomers have a lot to a lot to give to us. Uh, so they gave us their dream too to continue trying to create a uh, a society that undoes. Um, Thousands of years of stupidity, thousands of years of darkness, uh, uh, ignorance, racism, racial wars, jingoism, um, 
we need a grand prosperity society to enjoy these kind of uh, higher higher privileges and unfortunately you know during the past the the, the, the actions of the past few years uh, especially uh past four years have um have knocked knocked us all back down to uh to to zero but like i said we have the technology now we know what the world looked like uh prior to going everyone going crazy um it's gonna go the, the cycle is it's always gonna go crazy people are always gonna be angry but we can at least create a world where where it doesn't decay totally into dark ages um like say the fall of Rome or the fall of the fall of the knights uh, or the invasions of uh, the invasions of, of you know, clash of civilizations uh, diseases these always these, 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 these things always fall during the precipitation of the uh, uh, not the end times but the um, a kind of great change so that's that's my take on it, everything and like I said, today is already a fiery day. I saw the smoke out there. It's gonna be lots of next few, tomorrow's gonna to be even more smoke here. Uh, I'm already contacting my uh, I'm already contacting my people to make sure that I've got a I've got a pre uh, I've got a pre kind of a world uh, a pre graduation world to go into. Our path to victory may be a grueling one, but we we'll have to but we'll have to be but we'll have to be through TMs ritual. Ha Ritual Havoc has been started to help TMs, Topaz Dragons, be funded to hit their economy. Okay, so we're funding a dragon? Well, it's not much, but I will kind of help fund the dragon then. So we're fighting 1 4 then. We are reaching DEFCON 4. I think we can win this one. They're about roughly the same, same stats as we are. Uh, my province is defended, and it's uh, I have near. I'm nearing the uh, I'm nearing the first thousand uh, uh, spies. Um, I have a decent amount of. I hope I have a decent amount of research there and everything. Like I said, I'm starting up. I'm starting out from scratch again because my computer died out. So this bunker, hopefully, this bunker can last longer. So let's take a look at Hun Hungary. Hun 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 uh, the Hungary population is made up of, uh, as you see, it's, it was part of uh, this Budapest right there. And like I said, this is one big giant uh, kingdom, one big, one big giant super state that the, the Austro Hungarian Empire was all of this here. Uh, Croatia it was part of the Yugoslavian. This, is, this was, was a kingdom called Yugoslavia. So this is the Slavic, yeah, this is the Slavian. Home world, I guess. I guess I'm assuming the Slavs was was was, was uh, some kind of hybrid between the Caucasians of Europe and the Asians. Some kind of a, uh, uh, that's my that's my take on it. Um, you know, this was Bohemia. This is what? No, this was Bohemia. These two. That's Austria. Wow, Austria was able to do all this. But Austria is a pretty is, is a pretty effective country. Here are the Dutch uh, kingdoms. Uh, no, actually, this is this is this is this is more French, pro French, and the top of this is pro Dutch. This is actually part of uh, the uh, yeah the Dutch homeworld, uh, sort of Germanic. In fact, the Germans call have a disparaging term to call them the Swamp Germans. The Swamp Germans. Here's a lot of marshlands and stuff. Here's the uh, here's the Celtic. Actually, the Celtic homeworld used to be all of this. All of this. And then the Romans and you know, their civilizations wacky. This used to be Poland, a giant country. Uh, Poland used to be, uh, I don't know how old. It's Kaliningrad, that's, that, that's, as I, I had mentioned, uh, that's the Eurozone. Uh, that's Moldavia, there's a, that's, 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 um, that's, uh, Ukraine. Maybe this might go back to Russia. Form their own world. And it would be a significant loss, but Russia, but Ukraine is a big country still. And this, I, this is a a, a bunch of Caucasian states here, the Caucasus Mountains here, a bunch of Caucasian kingdoms. Uh, some of them are Russian, some of them are Muslim kingdoms, the Chechnya stuff. Uh, 
and there's the ancient kingdom of Ur, there's the ancient kingdom of uh, Persia, uh, Iran, uh, Azerbaijan, that's one of the Mongolian worlds. Uh, in fact, there's a place called, the place here, uh, uh, Kalmykia, that's, that's actually a leftover of the Mongolian world. The, when they were Mong the Mo Mongolia is a, is a world made up of many different uh, ethnicities and tribes, like Christian religions too. So, it's China. Actually, China. This is Tibet here. I I, I think Tibet should be their own country, and Xinjiang should be their own country as well. And then China all has a you know, this might be, but the North Xinjiang is us. It's us definitely us. This we we settled there first. Uh, there. So yeah, it's interesting how the people move about. So yeah, Hun Hungary is um, uh, population. Population is nine million, but they also have uh, the 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 look at the spora living all, all over the world. Uh, Especially America. So let's see history before. She might try to of Capri. Capri is part of it. Okay. Oh. Uh. The Carpathian Mountain, Carpathian culture. Look, the Carpathian Mountain people came and settled into what's left of the power vacuum of the Roman Empire. Okay. Leftover, probably leftover stuff for military hardware by the by Romans and copied by a uh, copied by a uh, copied by the Hunnic Empire. Okay, so you guys were, uh, so you guys, so this is the Hun, so this is the, the Hun territories. This is the original homeworld of Hungary and then the bad, and then, oh, okay. So you guys are Central Asia, out of the sea. Xinjiang and Xinjiang and uh, the steeps and stuff. Okay, so you settled, so, so, so you kind of settled, you know. So you guys migrated through, say, yeah, Scythia, yeah. And it's like migrated through uh, one of the migrants and you kind of settled there. Under the Gulf, ooh. So, so you want to, so the Huns were one of the one of the one of the forces that kind of precipitate, particip, uh, precip, uh, precipitated the collapse of the Roman Empire, which we covered, which we which we covered multiple times and fell multiple times, the Byzantine Empire. Uh, so, Scythia, yeah. Okay, okay. Indo Siphon, Milton into India, Bactria. Oh, this is like Alexander the Great stuff. So we just call it Alexander Alexander World. He actually made it into a, he actually made it into a west, east, west, western, west, west, eastern India. Uh, and then Oh, hey, the Zongo, the Zingo people. Um, uh, the Zingo people, they've been wiped out. Uh, I'm, wondering, I'm wondering where the Romani people came from. Coming! So called gypsy people came in. 
they must have been migrants too. Like, uh, okay, when you say migrants, are you, are you guys talking about migrants in, as in the Bedouin? As in the Bedouin? Uh, I know they, they tried to invade China a couple times and got nuked. That's where we got Xinjiang from. As a part of a sort of like how if you play as the Romans in any video game, you try to. The, the, the Germanians are expanding their territories, you know, expanding their explorations of, uh, it's all, all of this, all of the world is this one big giant park, one big giant bunch of trees, one big giant bunch of mountains and rivers, et cetera, et cetera, especially here in Eastern, uh, West, Eastern Europe. So one big giant nature park. And then people just, us cavemen, Uga Boogas travel all over and, we just find out Uga Boogas who, who speak the same language and as, as, as we do versus Uga Boogas who went this way and woman Uga Boogas and uh, uh, Chinese Uga Boogas and African Uga Boogas and Indian in this culture kind of. Anyways, it's, anyways uh, the Han people are well, they have their own language too so. You know what? I wouldn't mind the uh, you know, Hungary. One thousand two. So, 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 oh, that's one. Whole, that's one whole entire millennium. That is really crazy, man. Well, that's because yeah, what, what, nearly one entire millennium. They actually just should do some video games and some movies about these about the Balkans. I'm just fascinated, you know. And like you know, the, the whole state of Yugoslavia here, the stabilizing the Croatia. Montenegro, uh, Serbia, Kosovo, yes, Kosovo is a, is a country on its own. Well, uh, Transiteria is this little thing here. Like I said, maybe 100 years from now, maybe 50 years from now, you know, Russia starts to, uh, I don't know, development starts to happen down there. And then always, always culture. Remember your culture, remember your stories, you know. And Stephen. I would really love to see the Georgians, the Georgians and the Armenians recover their home world and the, uh, the stands, especially Kalmyka. These lesser really, you know, the thing is, I've been watching this, um, British guy called Baldwin Bankrupt. Uh, he was very, very big on the internet, uh, going, uh, going on, um, Backpacking tours of uh, Europe and stuff, and just uh, just backpacking tours of 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 of, of uh, the back country of say Colombia or those places, um, and uh, you know backpack you know especially especially uh, especially the uh, especially the the uh, hard to reach places in 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 in, in, uh, in uh, Russia you know and. Uh, we really need to actually see how those people live, and, and I hope that um, I mean, when, when Russia collapsed, uh, they're concentrating most of their most of their most of their uh, eggs in the the Moscow the Moscow uh, area, the Principality of Principality of Moscow. Yeah. So this is just, this is just uh, I'm fascinated, you know. Like, I mean, I wish I had the Grand Duchy of Moscow. There we go. And it's actually, see, it's actually Muscova. It's actually another road that actually survived. Like I said, this this, this one little city uh, kind of survived, uh, kind of survived the Mongolian Empire here. And the Mongolian Empire has uh, nuked them, and uh, they're actually able to hold back. And uh, and then actually, as the Mongolian Empire collapsed, it they were able to try. To, to capture most of Serbia, uh, Siberia. This is actually lots of wetland. Look at all those rivers, man. Look at all those water zones. Grand Duchy of Moscow. In Moscow expanded their territory all over in, 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 in the uh, fight to survive and that was it that was basically it for the for the germanic uh, anglo-saxon states you know uh, this is the persian and uh, the prussian empire world war two world war one era of germany and they got nuked uh 
And they got nuked again uh, in Nazi format. Um, yeah, Hitler would have never been able to conquer all this. I mean, you, you just it would just be, it would have been just a bunch of ants crawling up, attacking a caterpillar or something. Uh, Hitler would have you know tried to attack these, and that's the thing too. Japan, Japan tried to invade. Well, this was always all a part of Japan during Japan's rise in the 1800s. So this was also amalgamated in uh, 1905, I think, to Japan. Uh, personally, I think Taiwan should belong to the indigenous people down here. It's part of their archipelago, but then you know the Chinese settled it first, so it's a little straight here. Uh, this is Okinawa down here, so the Okinawan homeworld. Uh, again, Hainan is actually part of China, so, but perhaps China collapses and Vietnam gets their land back. That'll be that'll be really really neat. Uh, I myself am Chinese. Uh, my wife is Vietnamese. Uh, but I guess I guess I guess I have a, I guess I'm a settler from up here. This is actually the original Chinese homeworld. Uh, a bunch of other like, like multiple hundreds of states here, just around this one little bay. And then the uh, first emperor of the Xing Empire, or Qing Empire, uh, Chan, the Chan Empire, kind of like fort, formed the first Chinese state. And then this was also part of the Ch original Chinese state. This actually up here was their own it was it was it was, it was, it was sort of Cybernarian people. Uh, like the, like we mentioned, we rent about the Songu state. Um, that's about here, the Zongu state. Uh, uh, Genghis Khan was, you know, Genghis Khan was captured by the Zongu state actually and tortured. And, uh, and he was a he was a he was a tribal chief, and then and, and then his wife kind of he got reunited with his wife. They all they all kind of um, they all kind of um, banded together all these other troopers uh, to form a great a great army to take over. To fight one big giant battle, and then he took the, the whole state, um, uh, unified all these different little tribes and confederacies. Uh, this is the Manchurian homeworld. Uh, Manchurians are connected to the. I guess this is also up here the Manchurian world uh, when the Russians, the Russian you know, this actually this is actually part of Russia now. Uh, that that that, is, that, that so called Vladivost Vladivostok uh, sea base. Um, and because Japan lost the war, this is also included into Japan as well. All, all, all this is included into America, uh, uh, into Russia. Uh, uh, but like I said, the Manchurians, the Koreans, they're all uh, tribals are also formed. And you know, which tri whichever tribal was able to 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 to, 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 to develop first gets the rule, you know. It's, and then the China, the, the Manchurians kind of went into China, formed their and took over China. And lots of lots of worlds, lots of homeworlds down here. Uh, so yeah, so the steep. So, so so I guess this was the original path of the Hungarians, like that, and they settled into there and uh, and formed the uh, Hungarian. Budapest. And then you know the Russians have a huge um, influence in that area, so there's, so there's lots of. Uh, that's a fun thing. Okay, so this is the end of this video. I can go down. My mom just called me down to eat, so I'm gonna have to continue uh, looking up uh, looking up uh, stuff. Um, between but, but my concentration now is I am a Canadian citizen, so I'm living in the. Uh, I'm connected into a. I'm connected into the uh, Wiki Waka Waluga Buga, my Canadian homeworld. Uh, my concentration now is to help the indigenous people get back on their feet, or reclaim their territories. I mean, I mean, it looks small on the map, but it's fucking huge in reality. Like, I mean, from here to left, we're just three hours driving. If you did that on horses, at least, oh, what day's ride! And when you drive the car out there, you hear this—you see this big sea of land, a sea of uh, a sea of land. That's just that's just the that's just the. Alberta, that's just the Alberta Corridor. That's just the Edmonton, Red Deer, Lethbridge, uh, Lethbridge, Calgarian, uh, Corridor. That, and that is fucking huge, man. I mean, we, 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 we drive from, 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 from Toronto to, to Hamilton. Two different cities, but within the greater, greater area. That can eat, that can actually be its own, its own country, you know. It has water, it has its own resources, it has its own wealth. Um, 
Lots of states in America are, may seem small on the map, but it's large. It takes hours and hours to drive across from one end to the other. Uh, much more faster if you use a, a speed train. Uh, they can they kind of come out in the future or flying devices, I can assume. But I mean, on the ground, actually on the ground itself, it's you're surrounded by trees, you're surrounded by huge swaths of land. So let's make the best of it. Let's make the best of this dirt. Let's make the best of these trees. Let's make the best of these of these areas and make sure that it's a nice, healthy, eco ecologically nicely nice, nice place to live in. Because as the natives say, if the land is healthy, we are healthy because we don't get we are living on the land. We are eating the food. We are drinking the water. We're breathing the air. You know, if we're not healthy, we're not. Act, we're not living up to our full potential, uh, and we slowly decay. And that's the point about living too. You, you live, you have your, you have your uh, day in the sun, you have your peak, and then it slowly decays and goes poof. So this game is going poof, but we can, uh, we can, we can still maintain it. We can still maintain some of the glory of this game. And I'm hoping that this kingdom can re retain the said, said, like I said. Retain some of the uh, glory of this world that we're trying to create, and that's my that's that's, that's my two bits of this of this of this whole game here. Um, let's see if anyone has uh, donated to the uh, dragon. Uh, cast a ritual, cast a ritual, cast a ritual. Someone spent a little money of money for the dragon. Cast a ritual. Uh, cast a twenty one. So we need a bunch of more uh, ritual. Please break the offensive piece. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay then. That's a that's a that's a good point. That's a big plus. Okay, so let's stop controlling. Let's stop growing our lands. Let's uh, let's take out eleven fields coming to produce more of this. Let's produce more towers. Uh, and food supplies are okay. Food supplies are okay. Uh, stables are okay. I should have enough. Uh, the dungeons we don't have to worry about right away because uh, that'll be our second war. When uh, uh, the dungeons war, after I get my ass kicked in this war, uh, okay, we're nearing nearing a bunch of uh, thousands or so thieves. Um, archers and rangers are on their way. Uh, okay, this is the best we can do. War is terrible, but war is human drama, and it's the drama, as 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 Raiden said to as Raiden said to to his fighters on uh, Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat fighting for your planet is not about death; it's about life. And uh, of course, we're gonna eventually uh, eventually um, create a create a high tech society where we don't even need war. We we use the resources of this planet less and. Uh, most of the people will leave the the outer 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 communities the four the four big cities, which is actually going to be good for the environment too. Because people who actually want to stay love the nature, or people who are tired of living in the poison city, go out into nature, and then they more have more respect for nature and kind of um. And I have respect for nature. I, mean, I live in suburbia. I I I go to garbage cans. I pick up trash. So I pick up trash and I recycle it. So. Uh, so that's what I try to keep this up. That's that's my that's my two bit to that's my two bits uh, service to economy. I like I said I plan to get some land or get some land and I want to become a um, ginseng farmer. One of the original ginseng farmers of of Alberta to form a a little civilization, a mini civilization of uh, of ginseng farmers. And then maybe my sons, will, maybe my kids will want to keep on keeping this. Uh, I want to get some land that um that that I work with the indigenous people that they uh, use it to live off of. Uh, I just have a small plantation somewhere in the back, a small small yard with some place in the back where I can grow my ginseng. Uh, I can grow my uh, pine trees for um for Christmas trees and you know just a small section. I mean I know I know uh, my brother used to date a, a a girl, and he used to have a uh, he used to have a huge farm a uh, uh, ranch. A quarter of a quarter of a square mile, so that's like a quarter of a square mile is a lot of land. It's like he, he can he he meant it for ranching too, but uh, uh, over the over the decades he over the decades he paid for it, 
Uh, he, he bought the land completely because he was a landlord, so uh, he and his friends, uh, he and his friends uh, uh, were able to, uh, he and his friends were able to, um, he and his family and friends were able to, and I helped out too, to help out, set up a ranch there, set up a cabin there, and, you know, I, I plan to live like that too. And, and, but the thing is, I, I plan to do it in tandem with uh, indigenous uh, nations. Then my ultimate caper will be um, trying to find the black, black meteorite uh, uh, space iron um, that, that that is of significant uh, uh, significance to the indigenous people of, of, of Alberta, of southern Alberta, and to re restore this kind of uh, 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 mineral, this this artifact, to the people itself, will give them such a big um, morale boost. A morale boost that to say that because they believe that uh, like the Sankari stone, the, 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 like 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 the Sank Sanka stones or the Shankar the Shankar stones of uh, uh, the Stringolingram stones of um, of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, this movie called the movie is called uh, Indiana Jones Two, uh, Temple Two, the Stringolingram stones. They believe that. Uh, the stone would this this meteorite um, uh, would uh, would grant health and wealth to their people, and it's been taken from by Jesuit priests as a, as as a spoil of war or uh, some some bullshit like that, and held by the burden government. So my job will be try and um, my job will be to kind of uh, kind of uh, Form a uh, form a world where uh, where um to form a world where uh, the indigenous recover. It'll take at least a thousand years, hundreds of years to get back on back on our tra back on the track. Uh, but we can get back on track, and we'll be the better for it. So that's my that's my ministry on earth. Uh, and maybe. Maybe I'll convince the gods or the higher ups or whoever's about the admins of this whole game of life that I do. I, that I, that I have to have some kind of weird skills. Uh, you know, like in here, I am a random burger flipper uh, who's who's gaming on here, who has a bunch of notebooks and stuff that are that, that scribble down any kind of uh, notes, any kind of clues. Uh, towards the work, and then the work gets done. Uh, small little projects get done. And the small little projects, projects, all build up to 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 security. Of course, in a big ball of boom fire, it goes down. So, but then you build back up, right? I, I guess it's the only the only only recourse of action you can do. So I have about five hundred sixty uh, books available. Uh, five hundred sixty uh, books to. Should I? What should I do with it, guys? Should I? Uh, building pictures, you don't have to worry. Uh, well, okay, so let's go down to uh, magic effectiveness. I don't want to start. Uh, maybe we'll lower our, our, our room costs so that uh, so when people give me their runes, so uh, well, let's have more. Let's have magic effectiveness so I can actually uh, cast a rune. Cast more. Cast more stuff. We go to uh cool. so we have eight men. Uh, so, like I said, I'm going to try and uh, produce more of my own uh, my own that ones. We're kind of training. We've got we've got to try and train more um more banks. Oh, I need to train more. Should I? No. Yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, oh, that's my very first tra That's my very first soldiers being trained. How cute. Okay, so uh, I've been given the instructions to uh, rob from our enemies. Uh, let's see if you can rob from find from the dragon. Let's see which one is the button on our side. Um, surrender button. Okay. Let's. Go to let's go piss off our enemies here as as order. Uh, um, 
whom shall I steal from? Whom should I steal from? Let me see here. That's kind of low. I don't want to do that. I want to play honorably for once. Uh, Dark Brotherhood? Okay, stealing from Dark Brotherhood. Let's go to 1 4. Dark Brotherhood. Got speed. Robbie. Oh, 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 oh. Five, 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 six, please. Got speed. Let's steal from. Uh, let's bribe thieves so we can increase our. Bribe thieves. Okay. Bribed. Uh. Uh, rob vaults, rob vaults. Fail. Fail. Okay, that's uh, that's pretty yucky. Hmm. Wow. I'm actually having success. Maybe night strike? Night strike. Okay, so we go to dragons, right? And I'll oh, go to growth or military. No, dragons, dragons, dragons. We gotta eventually restore our uh, restore our uh, lost pride in them. Okay, putting it towards dragons as ordered. Thirty-eight, ninety-three. Oops. Okay, uh, runes are okay. I'll be able to cast. I'll be able to cast wacky spell soon. Um, not bad. That was actually pretty exciting. How far you can go on nursing spell? Okay, so uh, drop gold from enemy. And put to dragon, dray, done as ordered. Yes, please send me ritual runes. And cast me a uh, hater protection. Let's see here. Uh, Let's send a message to the Queen, telling her, informing her of our actions. Hey boss. Hey boss. Update. Stole a bunch of gold from enemy and casted, uh, what did I cast? I casted, a. ooh. And casted. You know what? I'm gonna keep ads on. Sometimes ads are pretty fun. Uh, and casted. Wiki waka woo woo. And casted. Guess I'm broke as fuck right now. I can't. Uh, and casted. The. I wouldn't mind. You know what they should add? They should add a Hollywood movie as a package. Uh, they should actually add a. A package where 
you know, how, you know the uh, I don't know the Hollywood tour sport should actually uh, actually provide a uh, or the man's theater uh, Hollywood premiere VIP. We pay good money. We get a good hotel room. We get to perhaps uh, we, but we have to dress uh, formally, right? That kind of thing. Maybe a formal movie dinner or whatever the fuck it is. We pay for more perks. Um, they should actually, they should actually uh, do that. That will actually bring in lots of bling. And casted, uh, uh, and paid for dragon and contribution to dragon. Okay. Thank you for watching our show. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Dot, 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 dot. Like you.